It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the Thunder from Down Under, a man on a quest to make money for beer. Sparring DK presents... Relegation Regen Rebuild. PSG. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild here with PSG. We sit second in the league, though we are simulating and fully concentrating on the Champions League this season. Now, uh, <laughs> that game against Manchester United was heart and mouth stuff. We're going to have to uh, pick up our lunches and uh, hopefully get back to action here today. We'll be taking on Club Bruges. Before we get into that, though, we've got a player upgrade to do, so let's get that one done. Right, today's player upgrade is for the French left back in Belgium. Uh, this one comes from Afri Arif Alam. Thank you very much for your comment. He's gone with the number 16, an untucked shirt, undershirt only, the Nike GS3 boots, uh, some black gloves and low socks. Um, yeah, let's hopefully that can help out his pace. Uh, currently playing in the reserves, he is an 80 overall left back. Champions League action. Let's get into this episode. Right, it is time for game number three. We're taking on Club Bruges on the road at the Jan Bradle Stadium. And, uh, well, it's a, it's a must-win match, to be fair. Club Bruges have got three points. We've got three points. And um, we just need to push on here. Manchester United in the box seat. We'll be looking to uh, get the points back when we take them on later in this group stage. Um, yeah, big, big, big game. Let's get into it and see if we can find three points and stay in contention for the uh, knockout rounds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Champions League time once again. The rain is coming down here in Belgium as we take on Club Bruges. Three points apiece for both teams. Whoever gets the win here takes the ascendancy in the group. Hopefully it is for PSG. And hopefully Arnais can have a real impact here today. Here is Cassell. He's been given some space to run. He'll drive his way forward. Still goes Cassell. Comes back. They look inside. Amaral gets a touch on it, but you're not going to beat the keeper with that kind of effort. Trying to play one through. Arnais lays off. Pedro, oh, great defending from Barrios. Brilliant defending from the Club Rouge. Just need to settle into the rhythm of this game. Here's Barbier. And he'll get another crack at it. Oh, crossbar. Oh, my God. Get in front of him. Club Rouge take the lead, they've barely been in the game, except for their defence, and they hit us on a counter-attack. Rodriguez, well, maybe he doesn't like the rain. You can see he was caught napping, and Club Rouge have the lead. Just look at this from Rodriguez. Just gets behind, you've got to play in front, mate. Ball's coming in like that, you've got to be in front. Unfortunately, we're seeing ourselves 1-0 down to Club Rouge. Amarel lays off here. Pedro! Oh, Pedro loves a long bomb. Gets us back in the game. And as Pedro Jesus, 99 long shots the lad's got, and he's used every single attribute of it there to get the finish. 1 1 PSG back in the game. Well, Amarel just flicks it off. Pedro had a little bit of space, and it was just enough. Bangs it home. And it's 1-1. Pedro. Hey, Zoops. Well, there is the halftime whistle. We fight back, and it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, Pedro plays one through. Amrel lays off. And he's the skipper. Oh, yes, boys. Canteen. 2-1 PSG. And it's the skipper, Arnais, getting the goal. Well, that is how you catch someone out. Amrel being a really good man for the link-up here at the moment. Not scoring a lot of goals, but... Hey, if you can play that sort of number nine role and just be the link-up man, we'll bloody take it. Amaral just waited that pass beautifully. Arnaiz pulls the keeper out, waits for him, call as you like, gets the finish. 2-1, PSG. And decides to cross deep for Cassell. Oh, what a ball. And PSG, well, what have they taken half time? Absolutely Gatorade Orange Central. Cassell on the board now. Club Bruce thought they were home. But all of a sudden, PSG have turned it on. They found three quick goals and it's 3-1. What a ball. Cassell completely unmarked. And Cissé has picked him out. Like a grain of salt in a bag of sugar. 3-1. Oh, 
Oh, there's a ball through. Just don't have the pace to get back. And that makes it 3-2. Well, it's the one thing we don't have is uh, a, a defender with a lot of acceleration. I've got a little bit of sprint speed, but as soon as a winger gets through, we seem to be caught out. We are playing a, a high uh, press on the possession. And you can see there's such a high line. It goes straight through the back door and left Rossi completely exposed. 3-2, game on. Know how to attack. We seem to struggle to defend. Even under all that pressure, still gets to finish 3-2. Need to control the game a bit more now. Pedro, poor touch. Finds Amarel, plays it forward. Arne shoots, but can't beat the keeper. Well, let's make the changes. Uh, Jesus out for Mendoza. Polymat's going to check in for Cisse on the right-hand side and Olsen on the left for Cassell. They've got themselves a free kick, though. 17 minutes to go. He has a red-hot crack, and it's got shit. Tries to flick one out to Polymat. He's got the pace. He should be able to take his man on here, Polymat. Come on, lad, he's got like 95 pace. What is going on? Tackle from Vale. Plays it forward for Arnaiz. Here comes the counter. Arnaiz will look forward. Plays it out wide here for Olsen. Gets on the end. Young George cuts back beautifully. Drives into the back stick. Oh, no one can get on the end. Here's Arnaiz. Flicks it back off. Barbier back to Arnaiz. Finds Mendoza. Good save from Mendy. In the corner now for PSG. Can Arnaiz pick something out here? The shelter! Oh, cleared off the line. Good from Olsen. Holds it up and there's the whistle. Three points secured. But it wasn't convincing. 12 shots to seven. 15 tackles. We're under pressure. That's what that shows. Amaral, man of the match. Uh, with a 9.4 with two assists. All right, it's the Paris Derby, and uh, we've sent the first team out for a 1-1 draw. Right, the Coupe de Liege, and uh, we've sent the reserves out here, and they get us a 2-0 victory. Nicholas and Debogo with goals. Let's have a look at the current youth academy. Aquil 92 to 94. Tahir 93 to 94. Radish 87 to 93. Latale 85 to 91. Billy Green 82 to 88. Uh, Desney 80 to 90. Samarov is going to be released. And Toby Lewis, 84 to 94 potential. Might have to start bringing a few of these young kids in. Uh, Aquil and Tahir look very, very good. Right, the reserves roll out here against Bordeaux for a 3-0 victory. Right, so we're back at home this time taking on Club Rouge. Game four of the Champions League. Barmier to an 85 now. Uh, Amaral has hit 86. This team is growing. We just need to get the victories and push through to the knockout rounds. Manchester United still undefeated. So let's get into this game and push for three points. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's game four. We're here in Paris hosting Club Rouge, who gave us a little bit of a run for our money in the last game. But hopefully on our home deck, we can absolutely punish them. Let's get into this game and uh, look for three points and get into contention with Manchester United. And Pedro. Barbier. Arnais! Oh, Mendy. He's got him picked out at the moment. But it won't be long. Arnais is hunting. Vero plays one through for Cassell. Forward now for Arnais. Club Rouge in there wears Wally outfits. Arnais lays off Pedro. Oh, did that take a deflection off Barrios? It did. Six shots to fuck all. We've got ourselves a corner. Driven inside. And that might come out again. Pedro. Oh, fucking crossbar. Sidebar. Every fucking bar. Barbier, Arnaiz, Pedro, Jesus, gagged here. Finally, we break it open. It takes the captain's little bit of footwork through the guts. Picks out Pedro. Pedro finds the back of the net. 1-0 PSG just before halftime. Just took a little one-two with Barbier. Takes a bobble. Arnaiz finds Pedro. And he knows when to pull the trigger. 1-0 PSG. Pedro finding some goals here in the Champions League. Low, hard, and left. And that was enough to beat the keeper. 1 0. Cissé cuts back inside nicely. Still comes Cissé. He's going to need some help though. Plays it off. Amaral turns his man. Oh, jeez, it was all fucking legs there. Oh, 
tangled up like an octopus. What are you doing? There's half time. One nil to PSG. Oh, jump! Why the fuck is Pedro marking? Set pieces. We've got Schulter there at six foot fucking twenty. For some reason, he's not the man to get onto these crosses and leave it up to Pedro Jesus to try and block the defend. Fuck me. What are you doing? There's three fucking defenders there and you leave it to Pedro. Fucking wake up. Oh, Rossi, that's better. Good save. My oh, Bruges, I don't know, we're just floundering it here at the moment. See, say. Can I nice get here on the sprint? Yes, you can. Oh! Come on! Hey, why is it only 2-1? What? What? Oh, my Bruges gone. Hang on. Well, we'll be checking the statistics after the game. Something's gone wrong here, I think. I'm sure Club Bruges... Oh, maybe. Maybe that was just an equaliser and I have no idea what's going on, but... Fucking our nice. There we go. Use this pace, got past the defender. And finds the finish. Well, if it's 2-1, we'll fucking take it. Don't you worry about that. He's coming. Got a mark up. Great save, Rossi. That is a brilliant save from the Italian. That's what more we've been expecting. Look at this save. Full stretch. Brilliant. Three changes. Polymer in for Cissé. Debongo in on the left wing for Cassell. And Mendoza in for Jesus. Olsen was just too tired for this game. And there's the whistle. Well, I think it's a 2-1. I may have completely misread the game at some point there. Uh, it looks like it is three points. And that is good news for PSG. 16 shots to three. We fucking deserved a victory there. And let's have a look. Player of the match. It is Arnais with a name point fave. Right, the first team rolls out here away to Toulouse. And they get a 1-0 victory. Fail with a goal. Right, first versus second here. We've got Olympic Lyon. We've had to send the reserves out as uh, the Champions League game is approaching. But we get a victory. A goal to defeat. Three points for PSG. Right, final game of the episode, game five of the Champions League. We look like we are through with the couple of victories we have had now. We've got CSK Moscow at home. Uh, and it's funny that this uh, this first 11, the lowest rated player is Pedro Jesus, and he's probably been one of the standouts so far. So uh, let's get him in this game, and a win here will definitely qualify us for the knockout rounds, and we still have Manchester United to play in the final game to possibly finish on top. Uh, let's get into this one, though. We need a win against Moscow. Right, ladies and gentlemen, rain coming down here in Paris. We've got Moscow. Oh, we towed them up in uh, round one, I think it was 4 0. So, got them on our home deck now. Let's see what uh, we can do here. Uh, the boys want to be pushing through to the knockout rounds in a good spot, a good position. Manchester United coming up will want to find some form as well. We need a clean sheet. Oh, nice. There's Pedro. And oh, the keeper called into action early. There's Barbier. Oh, he's worked the keeper. There's Rodriguez. Centre back just going on a blasting run here. Plays it off for Amaral. Giselle. Plays it back forward for Amaral! Oh, that is what you want from your forward. He's been quiet, but when we needed the most, he's delivered. 1 0 PSG, 34 minutes gone. It's been cat and mouse stuff for the last 15 or so minutes. Amaral takes it upon himself, a quick 1 2, and made the run. Look at this. Lays it off for Cassell, makes the run himself, gets into a strike position and bang, puts it home. 1-0, PSG gets it. Lays it forward, Pedro. Oh, no, he's back out wide. Cassell's made the manoeuvres. Drives his way forward, tries to flick it back. And again, but blocked off this time by Chernoff. Ribeiro. Barbier. Pedro tries to come through, picked out. There's the whistle, 1-0, half time. PSG in the lead. Pedro. Barbier out wide. Here is Cassell. Cassell decides to take it in himself. Lays it off for Amaral. What a save! Oh, that is brilliant. Amaral cannot believe it. It was sweatier than a gypsy with a mortgage. Amaral just went for placement. 
And a lovely save from the keeper. Barbier. Oh, nice. Oh, was that Amaral getting in the way again? No, oh, we get a corner out of it at least. Nice drives up. Ribeiro! 2-0 PSG. Yes, boys. We're going to the knockout stages. That was wonderful. Look at Ribeiro. Get in the front position. That muscles his man as he say. Gets involved as well, just to really put the defense on the alert. But Ribeiro stands through, gets the finish. A lovely header, 2-0 PSG. Oh, Barbie, yeah, that's a big challenge. He's still down. <laughs> Amaral. Oh, that's lovely, what a save. Brilliant. Oh, we've got a corner coming up. 20 minutes to go. We'll make a couple of changes. Cissé for Polomat. Cassell for Debogo. And uh, Mendoza checks in for Jesus. Mendoza up to an 82 rating. The ball from Sheltow. And there it is. 2-0. We'll be through to the knockouts. But we're still going to take on Manchester United to finish off this group stage. 11 shots to five. We get the job done. 2-0. And uh, Cassell with a nine is our man of the match. Reserves rolled out here against Stad right. And we get a 1-0 victory. Belgium with the goal. Right, the first team out here against Lens. Arnais scores in the first minute. It's a 4-1 victory. A hat-trick for Arnais. Right, we are away here against Nice. It's a loss. 1-0. Right, today's player upgrade is for the Spanish centre-back in Jill. If you want to make any changes to his number or kit, let me know in the comments section. We'll get him upgraded in a future episode. Good luck. Right, let's have a quick look at the Champions League with one game to play. We are top of our group with 12 points and we play Manchester United in the final game. So we are through. It's just going to depend on whether we finish top or second. Group B, Juventus have gone through uh, Olympic Lyon in a fight there with Bayer Leverkusen. Group C, AC Milan are doing the business. I think they won it last year, possibly. Uh, Schelke are through as well. Group D, Manchester City are through with AS Monaco, possibly Roma. We'll have to wait and see in that group. Group E, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid banging at home. Group F is Barcelona and Arsenal, Benfica. Both have chances. Group G, Atletico Madrid are through. Dortmund and Olympiacos in with a sniff. Group H, it's Liverpool and Napoli and Sporting Portugal finding it out for the, uh, the second place there. And that is all the groups. So uh, one game to play, and then we're in to the knockout rounds. As for the league, we sit equal top with Olympic Lyon. Uh, we've conceded less goals, and that's probably why we're on top there. Um, but that's fine. I'd like to win a league title, wouldn't you? Um, we are concentrating on the Champions League. We'll see what we can do in the next episode against Manchester United. We need redemption, and we will see you then. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and we will see you in the next video. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has a Patreon, and if you do feel like going to that extra step and helping the channel out, you can jump across to the Patreon website, sign up to become a patron of the channel. For $1 a month at the moment, we are gaining money for beer. So put a dollar in the jar and we'll try and generate some funds to uh, create some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to our current patrons. Can't thank you enough. Uh, it's just tremendous to see some support on the channel. Now, if you are looking for some more content, there is a video here and a video here that you might like to watch. And if you want to subscribe, well, there's a button right there. Don't forget to turn on that notifications bell so you know when the videos go live. We'll see you next time. The Spire and DK channel now has...